Hello, my lovely kids. You are welcome to this science lesson. My name is Ernest Ato Benzo. Kids, in the previous lesson, we looked at one of the life processes of living things, and that is movement. And in that lesson, we looked at different kinds of movements made by living things. In the lesson today, we are going to look at another life process, and that is nutrition. And we will look at groups of animals based on what they eat. Groups of animals based on what they eat. So the lesson or the topic for today is grouping living things based on what they eat. Grouping living things based on what they eat. And nutrition is one of the life processes of living things. Kids, before we go to the topic, let's go over the homework you were given the last time on movements made by living things. One, mention two animals that move by crawling. And we have snail and lizard. As example, two animals that move by crawling. And we have snail and lizard. And then animals that move by walking. And we have human beings. And then we have dog. Two, state two benefits of movement to living things. State two benefits of movement to living things. One, to run away from danger. To run away from danger. And then two, to find food and water. So these are some of the benefits or the two benefits of movement to living things. To run away from danger and to find food and water. Kate, I hope you did the homework and you had all the questions correct. Now, let's move to today's topic on nutrition grouping living things based on what they eat grouping living things based on what they eat let's look at our lesson objectives first by the end of this lesson you will be able to by the end of the lesson you will be able to explain and mention two examples each the first one we have herbivores Two, we have carnivores. And then three, we have omnivores. So by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to explain what herbivores are with two examples, what carnivores are with two examples, and then what omnivores are with two examples. So kids, pay attention and then make sure you go through the lesson with me. And I believe by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to achieve all this or these objectives. Now, Kate, what do you see on the screen? You see some fruits. You can see kiwi, you can see orange, you can see apple, you can see pineapple. They are all plants that are used as food. Animals need food to grow, and that is to survive, because food gives them energy. Animals need food to grow, and food gives them energy. Animals cannot make their own food. If you look at goats, if you look at sheep, if you look at the hen, they cannot cook. They cannot cook. And since they cannot cook, they get their food from plants or by eating other animals. By eating other animals. So, kids, animals are grouped into three based on what they eat. Animals are grouped into three based on what they eat. And they are grouped into herbivores, they are grouped into carnivores, and they are grouped into omnivores. So, in this lesson, we are going to look at Herbivores, we are going to look at carnivores, and we are going to look at omnivores. Kate, and I believe by the end of the lesson, you'll be able to know which group 
you also belong to. So pay attention and go through the lesson with me. Let's start with herbivores. Let's start with herbivores. What are herbivores? Herbivores are plants. Sorry, herbivores are animals that eat plants only. Herbivores are animals that eat plants only. And because they eat plants only, they are called plant eaters. They eat plants only. So they are called plant eaters. Herbivores are animals that eat plants only. And because they eat plants only, they are called plant eaters. Okay, so let's look at one feature of these herbivores. Look, if you look at the animal there, it's a zebra because of the black and white stripes that you see. And look at the teeth. There's something special about the teeth of these animals. Their teeth are flat, as you can see. They are flat. And this enables them to chew or grind the plant very well. It helps them to chew plants very well. Okay, so let's look at some examples. You see the cow on your screen. And you see the cow eating grass or leaves. Okay, so I don't believe you have seen a cow enjoying fufu with palm nut soup. No, they eat plants. That is grass. See the goats there. The goat is also eating grass. Their teeth, as I showed you, helps them to grind this leaves very well. So we have sheep here. They are also feeding on leaves or plants. And because they eat only plants, they are called plant eaters. So you see, you see the horse also also eating plants or leaves. They live on plants. They don't eat anything in addition to plants. That is why they are called plant, plant eaters. So you see the zebra also eating plants. You see the deer also eating plants. They are plant eaters. They are plant eaters. And plant eaters are called herbivores. Now we have the rabbit also there. And you see the rabbits enjoying watermelon. Yes, that is what the rabbit is enjoying watermelon. Kate, you also eat watermelon. But that doesn't make you a herbivore. Uh, we have giraffe also enjoying plants. So, okay, when we talk about herbivores, they are animals that eat plants only. They eat plants only. And because they eat plants only, they are called plant eaters. So, okay, a cow, a goat, a sheep are examples of herbivore. A cow, a goat, a sheep. Examples of herbivores. You see a rabbit, an antelope, a grass cutter. They are all examples of herbivores. A rabbit, an antelope, and a grass cutter are all examples of herbivores. And you also have the deer, an elephant, and then a horse, as you saw. They are all examples of herbivores. So animals that eat plants only, only plants are called herbivores. The plants, some of them will eat the leaves. Some will also leave, eat the fruit that the plant also produce. If you eat only plants, then you are called a herbivore. Now let's move on to carnivores. Carnivores. Okay, what are carnivores? Carnivores are animals that eat meat only. Carnivores are animals that eat meat only. So they like only meat. And because they like only meat, they are called meat 
eaters. They are called meat eaters. So they either eat meat or fish. Like this. So carnivores are animals that eat meat only. And Kate, let's look at something about the teeth of this group of animals. See, they have sharp teeth, long sharp teeth. As they are canines, they have long sharp teeth, pointed teeth. And this teeth helps them to tear meat. This teeth that you see, you see two up and then two down. They use this type of teeth for tearing of meat. So carnivores have this type of teeth. And because they are meat eaters, this kind of teeth helps them to tear meat. So carnivores are animals that eat meat only. And because they eat meat only, as you see here, they are called meat eaters. Now let's look at some of these animals. So you see the lion there, and you see another animal there. You see the lion is steady, yes. Uh -huh. You see, Kate, when a lion attacks an animal, they normally close their windpipe, and that makes them difficult to breathe, and then they eat that animal. Let's look at the snake too, and the rat. Snakes are also meat eaters. Snakes are also meat eaters. So let's see. The snake also wants to do justice to the rat. Aha. Uh -huh. You see the rat being swallowed by the snake. So look at the snake swallowing the rat. And it will swallow all the meat inside. They are meat eaters. They are meat eaters. So it has swallowed everything. Mm. Wow. See the snake swallowing the whole rat. Mm. They are swallowing. They swallow the head first and then gradually all the body of the rat is moving inside yes swallowing everything is gone so carnivores are animals that eat meat only they are meat eaters as you have seen the snake has finished swallowing look at this wolf also eating meat and the wolf is part of the dog family wolf hyena they are also meat eaters look at this cheetah they are also enjoying their meat. They are also enjoying their meat. So cheetahs are also meat eaters. And then you see the eagle there. The eagle is also enjoying the meat of an animal. Mm -hmm. So kids, okay, when we talk about carnivores, they are animals that eat meat only. And because they eat meat only, they are called meat eaters. So let's look at the example. So a lion, a leopard, a snake, as we saw. And Katie, if you look at the leopard, the leopard is part of the cat family. So the cat you have at home is also a carnivore. But because they have stayed with us for a long time, their eating pattern have changed. If you send the cat to the bush or if a cat is staying at the bush the cat will not eat plants it will always chase mice they even catch snakes because naturally cats are carnivores but because they have stayed with us your cat at home can eat kenke your cat at home can eat fufu okay we have changed the eating pattern of the cat that is why if you leave your meat or fish there the, your cat will not spare you. They will go for it because their system is developed for meat. So a leopard is part of the cat family and they all eat meat. If you look at a tiger, 
you look at the cheetah, they are all part of the cat family. These are big cats. The tiger, the leopard, the cheetah, they are all big cats. And what we have at home are the small cats. You see the wolf also here. It's also part of the dog family. You see it looks like a dog. The wolf looks like a dog. They are all carnivores uh, because they are staying with us. Our dogs have also turned to another group. And then an eagle, as you saw, eating the flesh of an animal. An alligator and crocodile also eat meat. So kids, these are examples of carnivores. And carnivores are animals that eat meat only. Let's look at omnivores. Omnivores are animals that eat both plants and meat only. They eat both plants and meat. They are called plants and meat eaters. They are called plants and eat meaters. meat eaters. So they eat plants and then they eat meat. So okay, we have done... Uh, we have talked about herbivore, we have talked about carnivore, and we are saying the omnivores eat plants and meat. So that is where you belong, because you eat plants and meat as well. So human beings are examples of omnivores. And if you look at the baskets that we have here, you see the small boy, they enjoying banana. Uh -huh. The small boy is enjoying banana. Because if you look at a basket there, you see pineapple, you see apple, you see cherries there, and you see the boy enjoying banana. Uh -huh. So human beings eat plants. Human beings eat plants. And if you look at this boy also, look at how he's enjoying his meat. Uh -huh. You see, uh -huh. he's really enjoying the meat. And look at the bowl of fufu you also see there it's a combination of meat and plants if you take the fufu you got the fufu from the cassava and then plantain we get it from plants if you look at the light soup we use a garden eggs we use tomato we use pepper and then other things to prepare that comes from plants and on top of the fufu you see meat there so this meal also tells you that we enjoy both plants and then meat. We eat both plants and meat. And you see, I like the boy over there. He's really enjoying the meat. Yes. I don't know whether it's his birthday. Yes. He's really enjoying. So human beings are plants and meat eaters. Let's look at the next example. That is chicken. So you see them eating maize or corn. So the chicken is also an omnivore. They eat both plants and then meat. So they are eating corn here. And then you see this one swallowing a worm or a small snake. They also eat insects. And these are all meat. So chicken also eats plants and then meat. You also have dog. As I said, dogs are naturally meat eaters. But because we have kept them at home, so they eat what we also eat. So assuming if you look at the screen, you see some plantain with some parabasol, some eggs, and then some nice kobe. Huh. If you eat this food at home, and then you give the leftover to the dog, the dog will eat it. And where do we get the plantain from? From plants. Where do we get the contumbre that was used to prepare the palaver sauce? It's plants. So dogs also eat both meat and then plants. The next example is a pig. You see the pig eating plants. Mm -hmm. The pig is eating plants. And at the same time, pigs also eat meat. Pigs also eat meat. The next one is monkey. So you see the monkey here enjoying plants. 
and you see that monkey there eating pizza enjoying pizza made of bread and meat look at how the monkey is enjoying uh -huh. I also don't know whether today is his birthday. Uh, the, the monkey is really enjoying. So they also eat both plants and then meat. They also have mouse and rats. Mouse and rats. They also eat both plants and then meat, as you see on your screen. This one is eating plants. The other one is eating meat. You also have ants. An ant is also um, an omnivore. They also eat plants. As you see the ants enjoying watermelon. Ants like watermelon very well. So look at how they are enjoying the watermelon. And look at the ants over there to carrying another insect. And that insect is going to be used as meal for the ants. Yes. So ants also enjoy plants. And at the same time, they enjoy meat. Kids, we have gradually come to the end of the lesson. And today we looked at herbivore animals that eat plants, carnivore animals that eat meat, and then omnivore. Let's watch this to recap our lesson. So we said that herbivores eat plants only. So you see the elephants eating plants. They eat plants only. And because of that, they are called plant eaters. You see the grass cutter over here also eating plants. They eat only plants. Only plants. Either the leaves or they eat the fruit produced by the plant. Some even feed on the tubers like the cassava, the yam. So if an animal eats only plants, then that animal is called a herbivore. We also looked at carnivores, meat eaters. But if you look at this lion, this lion is not in its natural habitat. This lion is at a zoo. And you see that because they are meat eaters, this lion is being fed with a chicken. You see? So lions are meat eaters. So you see, even at the zoo, you can't give them fufu or kenke. You have to give them what they want. So you see the lion here enjoying chicken meat because they are meat eaters. And meat eaters are called carnivores. Meat eaters are called carnivores. And then you have omnivores. They eat both plants and then meat so you see the small boy enjoying fufu aha uh aha -huh. uh -huh. and after that he's also enjoying his banana telling you that i can eat both meat and then plant and that is an omnivore they eat both plants and then meat so kids you have come to the end of the lesson you have come to the end of the lesson and before we leave Take this homework and then make sure you do it. One, explain the following with two examples each. Explain the following with two examples each. One, one is herbivore. Two, you explain carnivores. And then three, you explain omnivore with two examples each. So you explain herbivores with two examples, you explain what carnivores are with two examples, and you explain what omnivores are with two examples. Kate, we have come to the end of this lesson. And I hope that you paid attention and you went through the lesson with me. Today, grouping living things based on what they eat, you've been able to know where you belong that human beings are omnivores so you are also an omnivore okay so until we meet again next time this is your teacher Ernest Atto Bente bye bye